Okay, so this will be part two of application. Um, basically what I have here is a really simple, go ahead and delete that, delete that. So I just have a really simple um, face here that I've made by extruding a line up. And I took it and divided that surface and then picked that surface and turned on the nodes. And then just adjusted the surface itself to be a little less densely divided. All right. So let's go ahead and change that guy to six. And then I was just loading in some of the other components that we made. So if I go into my aperture square surfaces here, all right, we have this. Actually, let's go to square aperture, and we have this guy, so it's a four point. I'm going to load that into the project. And then I'm just going to pick one, two, three, four. So it's going to place that component on there, and then I can pick that. And I can go to my modify and repeat it. And it will repeat that over the entire surface, right? So you can see that. Now, if I pick it, I can flip it out for any of the types that I've already created, right? Or if I pick it, um, I can also go to edit type and it'll bring up my type properties dialog box and give me access to all of the existing type properties to the angle, and I could duplicate this, and I could make one that, let's say, let's go ahead and make a 75 degree one, and we'll make the line height about 30 feet, and we'll make the square size, maybe we'll make it quite large, so we'll make it 10 feet. Let's see what happens. Click OK. So I'm going to update this to 75, update that to 30, and update that to 10. And click OK. And you'll see that it then updates all of those. And they're probably overlapping a little bit, but you can see if we look down, the 75 is very low. So we could go back and maybe alter that one we go to edit type, we could take that to 45 and apply, right? And then you'd get a 45 degree. So it's canting down at a 45. And maybe make that, you can see it's not actually, they're not actually touching, but we could make that aperture maybe a little smaller at the end. So select that, go to edit type, and instead of 10 feet, we could do five feet and apply. And click OK. And so now we have that. You could also, of course, if you wanted it to slant up, could do negative 45 and apply, right? And now those all shoot up in a vertical direction. So you can go in and sort of um, have some control over this. The other thing that we discussed, of course, is, is you can turn on your sun settings. So if I turn my sun path on, use the specified, disable that updater that seems to have a bug in it. Um, and you can go to sun settings and just set it up wherever you'd like it to be. So right now it's in Boston because that's where the program was developed. And you can set it for summer solstice, click OK, click apply, click OK, and then you can turn on your shadows. And you can kind of see you know, what kind of light is getting through there at particular times of the day. All right. All right, so you can start to play with that and pull it around and get some information from that. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is going to be the louver. Um, so we'll come back and apply the louver.